माई सेल्फ इज राजेश कुमार टूडे वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द इक्वलियरियम चैप्टर मीन्स दैट इन ए रिएक्शन हाउ द रिएक्टेंट्स चेंज इन टू प्रोडक्ट वी विल जस्ट डिस्कस और स्टडी अबाउट द डिफरेंट टू फेज बिकम इक्वल दैट स्टेट ऑफ इक्वलियरियम सो वी विल जस्ट स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस फर्स्ट एज अ इक्वलियरियम इज ए जनरल टर्म विच एप्लाइज टू फिजिकल चेंज एज वेल एग्जाम्पल आइस एंड वाटर आर इन इक्वलियरियम एट जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस equilibrium represents the state of a process in which the properties like temperature pressure concentration of the system do not so any change with passage of time all the processes which attain equilibrium two opposing processes are involved equilibrium is attained when the rate of two processes are opposing are equal if the opposing process involved only physical change the equilibrium is called physical equilibrium and if the opposing process are chemical change the processing opposing are chemical reactions the equilibrium is called chemical equilibrium when the reactants in a closed vessel at a particular temperature react to give products the concentration of the reactant keep on decreasing and the concentration of the products keep on increasing for some time after which there is no change in concentration of either of the reactants or products this stage of the system is called dynamic equilibrium and when the equilibrium involved in ions in aqua solution which is called as ionic equilibrium equilibrium in physical process the most common equilibria involving physical process are those which involve phase transformation process example solid can transform into liquid and liquid can transform into solid liquid can gas and gas can liquids as same solid can transform into gases and gases can transform into liquids beside these there are equilibria involving dissolution of solids or gases in liquids as example gas will change into solutions and solution can again change into gases solid will change into solutions and solution can change into solids now the first physical equilibria is solid liquid equilibrium if some ice cubes along with some water at 0 degree celsius temperature means 273 kelvin and normal atmospheric pressure are placed in the thermo flask so that no heat can enter or leave the system the mass of ice and water is found to remain constant however the two opposing processes going on at equilibrium are melting of ice and freezing of water at equilibrium rate of melting of ice just equal to rate of freezing of water it represent as h2o solid will transform into h2o in liquids the temperature at which solid or liquid form of a pure substance are in equilibrium at the atmospheric pressure is called normal freezing point or melting point of that substance the system here is in dynamic equilibrium and we can infer as first both the opposing process are occur simultaneously and second both the process occur at the same rate so that the amount of ice and water remain constant now the second physical equilibria liquid vapor equilibrium this equilibrium can be better understood if we consider the example of transparent box carrying u tube with mercury that's called monometer drying agent like anhydrous cacl2 or p2o5 that is phosphorus pentoxide is placed for few hours in the box after removing drying agent by tilting the box on one side a watch glass containing water is quickly placed inside the box it will observe that the mercury level in the right limb of the monometer slowly increasing and finally attains a constant value the pressure inside the box increase and attains a constant value also the volume of the water in watch glass decrease the rate of increasing in pressure decrease with time due to condensation of vapor into water finally it leads to an equilibrium condition when there is no net evaporation 
this implies that the number of water molecules from the gaseous state into the liquid state also increase till the equilibrium is attained as rate of evaporation of water just will equal to rate of condensation in both these conditions. This can be explained on the base of this diagram as in first box there is a watch glass having the anhydrous CaCl2 which is absorbing the amount of moisture which is present in the container. So, in monometer the level of mercury in both side of the tube is equal. In the second diagram you have replaced the anhydrous CaCl2 and placed the amount of water. In this case the water liquid will change into vapors. So, the vapor pressure will increase and the pressure will just put a pressure on the side monometer that is why the mercury level will change. You will get the higher level in the right side of this monometer. After some time the condensation of water molecule will again take place. So, the mercury level become equal in both sides. This will show the dynamic equilibrium of this physical state. At equilibrium the pressure exerted by the water molecules at a given temperature remain constant and it is called the equilibrium vapor pressure of water. Vapor pressure of water increase with temperature. Now, the third is solid vapor equilibrium. This type of equilibrium is attained for solids which undergo sublimation. For example, if solid iodine is placed in a closed vessel, violet vapors start appearing in the vessel whose intensity increase with time and ultimately it becomes constant. At this stage equilibrium is attained, it can be represented as I2 in solid state will transform into I2 in vapor state. Second example, ammonium chloride and H4Cl will solve from the solid state will transform into NH4Cl in vapor state. Next is a solid solution equilibrium dissolution of sugar in water. Suppose more and more sugar is added in a fixed volume of water at room temperature and stirred thoroughly with a glass rod. First, the sugar will keep on dissolving, but then a stage will come when no more sugar dissolves instead it settles down in the bottom. The solution is now said to be saturated and in a state of equilibrium. At this stage, as any molecule of sugar from the surface of the undissolved sugar go into the solution, a process called dissolution. The same number of molecules of sugar from the solution are deposit back on the surface of the undissolved sugar, a process is called precipitation. As a result, the amount of the undissolved sugar and the concentration of the sugar in solution remain constant. It can be written as sugar from the solids transform into sugar in solution. Last one is gas liquid equilibrium. Dissolution of a gas in a liquid under pressure in closed vessel. The best example of this type of equilibrium is that of soda water bottle. The equilibrium that exists in bottle is carbon dioxide gases stage which transform into CO2 in solution. The amount of the gas dissolved is governed by Henry's law which states as the mass of a gas dissolved in a given mass of a solvent at any temperature is directly proportional to the pressure of the gas above the solvent as m is directly proportional to p or m is equal to kp. Where K is a constant of proportionality and it is called Henry's constant. Its value depends upon the nature of the gas, liquid and temperature. We have already studied about the equilibrium first in a physical process and now the second is equilibrium in chemical process. That is a dynamic equilibrium. Analogous to physical system, chemical reactions also attain a state of equilibrium these reactions can occur both in forward and backward direction. When the rate of forward and backward reactions become equal, the concentration of the reactants and products remain constant. Thus, the state of equilibrium is attained as A plus B gives C plus D. 
with the passage of time there is a accumulation of products C and D and depletion of reactants A and B. This leads decrease in rates of forward reaction and increase in rate of reverse reaction. The two reactions occur at the same rate and the system reaches at a state of equilibrium. Chemical reactions reach a state of dynamic equilibrium in which the rate of forward reaction and reverse reactions are equal and there is no net change in composition. Let us uh, consider the reaction as H2 plus I2 gives 2 HI. Hydrogen react with the iodine to give HI. If we start with equal initial concentration of H2 and I2, the reaction proceeds in the forward direction and the concentration of H2 and I2 decrease while that of HI increase until all these becomes constant at equilibrium. We can also start with HI alone and make the reaction to proceed in the reverse direction. The concentration of HI will decrease and the concentration of H2 and I2 will increase until they all becomes constant. When equilibrium is reached, if total number of H and I atoms are same in the given volume, the same equilibrium mixture is obtained whether we start it from pure reactants or products as H2 in gases plus I2 with gases stays with the transform or reversible arrow gives 2 HI with gases stays. A chemical equilibrium in the reaction can be attained from either direction as showing with this uh, graph as one is the concentration is term and second one is the timing. As the time to be proceed a time will increase the concentration of the reactants like hydrogen and iodine will decrease at the formation of hydrogen iodide is, is taking place. That is why the concentration of the product will increase. It is showing that the one point will arise that the concentration of hydrogen and iodine will be become equal to the concentration of HI. That point is known as the equilibrium point. So, in this lecture by today we have learned about equilibrium, types of equilibrium. It was involved in the physical equilibria and chemical equilibria. In the next lecture we will learn about general characteristics of equilibrium, law of equilibrium and equilibrium constant types of equilibrium. Thank you.